Today we're talking about linearization, which is a graphing technique that lets you turn a complicated function into something more simple, preferably in the form y is equal to mx plus b. Um, in physics, whenever you have a line, the slope, it means something, the y-intercept, it means something, um, and lines are very easy to analyze, to do the math on. So here I have just some data that I've made up, and I'm going to graph it. All right. So this data looks like a line wouldn't be a terrible fit, but it's kind of got that upward curve to it. I personally think that this guy looks quadratic. Um, so I know that quadratics follow the form ax squared plus bx plus c. When you do the process of linearization, um, if you're asked to, we'll always give you something easy where that b coefficient is going to be zero. Uh, that just means your parabola is centered on the y-axis. Okay, so you'll never have to like mess with that middle term there. So because it looks quadratic, looking at my variables here, my horizontal axis is t. Um, I'm going to literally just square my t term. So here we go. I'm rewriting my data table. And I'm creating this calculated column that's just t squared. And I'm going to start graphing again, but on my x-axis this time, I'm using the calculated column t squared. So when I plot those points, oh, they actually look very, very linear. That's great. Um, sometimes when you get to this point, your graph might still look weird. Uh, you might have to create yet another calculated column to get it linear. Okay? But in this case, it worked on the first try. So I'm going to go ahead and draw my line of best fit. Oh, look at that. It's so good. Um, and then I'm going to start working on writing my linear regression equation. So the first step there, um, I'm going to find the slope. So remember, when you're doing your line of best fit, um, you want to pick two ordered pairs that are on the line. So you can see the 1635 actually was from the data table, um, but the 615 is from my line of best fit. Where it intersects really nicely right on that corner of the grid. I plug in my numbers, I got 2 as my slope. Okay, I'm being really bad about units here, but bear with me. Okay, so my slope is 2. Uh, I want to get this in the form y is equal to mx plus b. I need to look at my y-intercept, which is at 3. Okay, so y is equal to 2x plus 3 is the formula I have for this linearized graph. Okay, we do have to convert it back into regular... Uh, form. So you can see we've got t squared on our x-axis here. So our x value in the y is equal to 2x plus 3, I need to replace that x with t squared. Um, and on my y-axis I have x, which generally represents position. So rewriting this formula, the original equation was x is equal to 2t two, two squared plus 3. And yes, that is actually um, the data that I used to create this graph. So it's a useful technique because it lets you take a quadratic, an inverse, an inverse square function, plot the points until you get it linear, and the results from your linearization tell you a little bit about the coefficients that were in, well, both the linear regression equation, but also the original formula.